À tous de DDO, attention pour le décompte final. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top Allumage du gain. Allumage des deux API, des deux API décollage Ariane VR247. Our mass at liftoff, 775 tons. And to get that sort of weight off the ground, you need a lot of push. And push, we have. She's burning five tons of fuel every second. That's two and a half tons per second burning in each booster. Plus the core stage burning another 300 kilos of fuel again every second. Ariane 5 is now following the program in the onboard computer, which gives all the orders, including stage separations, which we will soon see in less than a minute. The DDO says all is working fine on board. We're in the first of four flight phases. We'll describe each in turn and in detail so you can follow Ariane as she heads east across the Atlantic. Right now, the first flight phase... The single first stage engine and the two boosters are burning. The boosters will each consume their 240 tons in just over two minutes. In about uh, 20 seconds, they will be extinguished, and they're the first to be jettisoned, and you'll hear that from the DDO, and you'll see that, of course, on the animation as well. This first flight phase, using both cryogenic cold fuel and storable propellant, cryogenic offering certain advantages over storable, better and more precise performance, and its motors can be reignited. There we have right on time, separation of the two boosters. The DDO confirms it. They fall 500 kilometers from shore into a protected area, give you an idea what it looks like from the onboard camera. There is a second booster to the port side of the ship, which is out of camera range. French Guiana was in part La chosen as a base for its opening on the water, launches posing no threat to the local population. We'll have more on that coming up. For now, on the bottom of your screen, take a look on the left, our altitude approaching 100 kilometers, and on the right, our speed. We've passed 2 kilometers per second. The speed we need for satellite separation, roughly 9 kilometers per second, so keep your eyes on the numbers. And when we near the region of 9 kilometers per second, we're getting near satellite separation. Separation, Fairing separation has come right on time. Separation given by two pyrotechnic systems, one horizontal and one vertical, they're cords that actually remove the fairing by a small contained explosion, and we emphasize contained, of course. We can separate the fairing now because we are out of the dense layers of the atmosphere. Over 100 kilometers up, there's neither friction nor heating which could disturb the passengers. Also, we can discard any dead weight when possible to maximize the launcher's performance. The fairing weighs two and a half tons, so it's good to get rid of it when we can. The Natal station, the downrange tracking station, run by Brazil's Defense Department. It sees the lower stage burnout and separation. All of Ariane's trajectory has been designed to be followed from the ground, of course. We're waiting for confirmation of the shutdown of the lower stage and its separation. There you can see falling back into the Atlantic and the ignition of the upper stage. There's three commands given by the onboard computer in about 
third jump seconds. The lower stage falls back into the Atlantic off the Gulf of Guinea. Which brings us into the third and final powered flight phase, the single upper stage engine that'll burning until plus 25 minutes, another 16 minutes roughly. 11 minutes to go in the upper stage burn. Arabsat, the direct client for both satellite, founded in 1976, headquartered in Riyadh. Two satellite control centers, one in Riyadh, one in Tunis, serving more than 80 countries across the Mideast, Africa, and Europe. HS4, SGS-1 is the 46th Lockheed Martin satellite to be launched by Arian Space. There's another one in the backlog due for launch later this year. Our last launch for Lockheed Martin goes back to 2012, Flight 206, with the JCSAT-13 and Venusat for Vietnam, both satellites built nominal. by the companies. We had a Lockheed Charter. Some more numbers for you. This launch is the 306th mission performed by the Ariane family and the 103rd on an Ariane 5. We are coming up on extinction of the upper stage engine. In just a few seconds, you will hear the DDO confirm that. Extinction de l'étage supérieur cryotechnique. DDO has confirmed it. You'll see the nozzle shutting down on the animation. And we are into the final flight phase, non-powered. We are coasting. However, we have not reached our maximum speed. You can see we're approaching 9.3 kilometers per second. Arian's maximum speed will be 9.7 kilometers per second. After that, you'll begin to see her slow down. When she separates uh, the first passenger in just about two minutes, her speed will be down to 9.4 kilometers per second, roughly. When she releases the SILDA, that's the carrying structure, for the second passenger, at plus 29 minutes, she'll be flying at 8.7 kilometers per second. And finally, when she separates GSAT 31 at plus 42 minutes, her speed will be down to under 7 kilometers per second. With the power shut down, not only do you see our speed start to drop, but we are moving into a new coasting phase. It's the last flight phase, the only one not powered, as we mentioned. Just a minute to go until separation of our first passenger. The time we have is plus 27.14, just in about a minute. And it's always a moan of high concentration when you're approaching satellite separation. The teams have gone through these procedures before, but it, of course, calls for tremendous focus. You don't want to say tense, but I think focused, concentrated gives you an idea of the atmosphere here in Jupiter. You see it on the faces. All eyes on the computer screens in front of them and all ears on the phones as we await confirmation of our separation of our first passenger. LSAT 4 SGS-1 coming in about six or seven seconds and you will hear the DDO confirm it. Separation Saudi Geostationary Satellite 1 and Sat 4. Well, DDO has confirmed it. You see, our first passenger pushed away from the mothership by a series of springs. First good news of the evening successful separation of our first passenger at over a thousand kilometers up over Les Africa and just below the Sida. Arabian Peninsula. You will also notice that people here in Jupiter politely holding their applause because the mission isn't over. We still have to separate our final passenger, GSAT-31. And our Indian friends, their second passenger due to be separated in about 10 minutes. ISRO, the Indian Space Research Organization, founded in 1969, having a birthday this year, I believe in August. ISRO's done so much for the nation, so important to India, using space technology for national development, pursuing, as we mentioned, space science research. With uh, GSAT-31, ISRO Ensuite, will again foster the use of space to help bridge the digital divide on the Indian subcontinent. As was mentioned in the film by Alina, Arian Space launched an Apple experimental satellite for India back in 1981 that was on an Arian 1, making India one of Arian Space's oldest customers. So you can imagine the strong bond linking Arian Space with India the two have been cooperating nearly 40 years now 
in their long-term partnership. Since the launch of Apple, Ariane Space has orbited 22 satellites, signed 24 launch contracts with the Indian Space Agency, also winning 89% of the geostationary orbit launch contracts open to non-Indian launch systems. One minute to go until launch, until uh, separation of our lower passenger, we talked about the uh, long and fruitful cooperation between ISRO and Ariane Space. ISRO satellites have flown on all versions of the Ariane. One, two, three, four, and five. French Guiana may be 7,000 kilometers from Paris, but it is very important for Europe. The Guiana Space Center offering an independent access to space vital for Europe strategically. You see the Jupiter mission controller in two parts. The invited guests and the VIP is on one side of the glass, and the operational people on the other, inside what we call the fishbowl. All these posts there have a backup as well. The Ghana Space Center, Europe's spaceport, certified ISO 14001 in 2004, which means its activities meet the international environment standards. We're launching from the CSG, where we have been launching for 55, oh, 50 years. And during those five decades, we've launched more than half the telecommunication satellites in operation today. Waiting for confirmation from the DDO on separation of our lower passenger. Separation GSA 31. And there you have the final good news. And you heard the applause from people here in Jupiter, handshakes all around, champagne forthcoming as Ariane 5 delivers to these smiling faces her second passenger, GSAT-31, over the Indian Ocean, not far from the Indian subcontinent, and the station at Hassan on the west coast in Karnataka State will get the signal first.